design can damage your health. Okay? It probably cannot improve it, can sustain it. And we are talking about design from the scale of you know, a chair which is beautiful to look at, but it's impossible to sit on and breaks your back to the way streets are laid out. But there is no doubt that urban environments impact on the well-being, maybe not necessarily health, but on the well-being of people who use them, live them, you know, work in those spaces and so on. Very closely linked to urban environment is the issue of transport. Um, some of us who are fortunate, you know, I run my own business, so I decide what happens to my business. I always have my offices near my home, so I don't commute. But if you are forced by the circumstances of your life to commute, you first of all spend time, which you cannot give to your workplace, you cannot give you to your family or to yourself getting educated. But second, you also spend huge sums of money. And specifically talking about Angola, imagine you're on the 15th floor of a block of flats, your window leaks. This window would leak forever because nobody would stick a scaffolding to the 15th floor to repair my window. Give these guys two-story terraced houses and they get on the ladder and repair it. You know? Then there's environmental issues. You know, if you live on the 15th floor and you want to stick solar water heater, you cannot. If you want to stick photovoltaics on your, on your, you know, to feed you, you cannot. If you live in a small house, you can. So the control of the environment is, you know, first of all is the well-being, second is the, the confidence of your existence, and thirdly is health. So, you know, there, there is just an incredible amount of, of little details which feed into how well we feel in our environment. And, you know, we designers create the environment. Now, my proposal for the Millennium Project was to make public transport free for the whole year, right through the country. And amusingly, I spoke with a number of friends who are economists, they were involved in health, in transport, you know, in whatever. And it turned out it would not be that expensive if you pull the results of this project from a variety of um, cash points. <clears throat> but then, after one year, one year is a long time, we would not be allowed, we would not allow the authorities to go back to charging us, you know? And it is possible to sustain it economically, because the benefits, immeasurable benefits are massive, absolutely massive, but they're abstract. So the governments of Britain decided to build artifacts, you know, the Millennium Dome and this and that, because you can make a model, you can make a film or whatever. What do you do with free public transport? You know, how do you manifest that you've achieved it? You can't. We have the, the level of discussion, abstract versus the figurative, also in terms of health approach. You know, and that's why we have problem dealing with health rather than health care, because health care produces artifacts. You know, it's measurable. Health is immeasurable. We should maybe try to trying to find a way of measuring health, but you know, it's not easy to measure. At some stage there was a, comp there was a proposal to run a tramway in London from, from Camden to Brixton and Peckham. And we in fact, you know, as a firm, we won the competition which was involving analysing half a kilometre either side of the tram lane with a view to the tram lane being the catalyst of change. <clears throat> which means our role was to find out which places could be improved. And you know, there's a massive, nasty estate in Peckham, for example, and, you know, we, we looked at to how to improve it without demolishing it. And there were moves you could do. Because the beauty of these housing estates in all the ugliness is that there are communities there. And this is much more difficult to build than buildings. So destroying buildings which house communities is, 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 is criminal. It's basically criminal, you know. So I think you have to work with these people. You have to listen to them. You have to understand what the issues are and then try to address the issues. I mean, without a doubt, some of the buildings have to be demolished because something new is needed.